It's an act of vandalism, adding insult to injury for the owners. Someone is burning American flags in people's front yards. It's been going on for the last week in Coshocton County. Fox 28 reporter Ben Garbrick just got back from Coshocton, where he talked with some folks who've lost their flags. Ben? Well, Bob, so far, seven flags have been torched. Right now, the sheriff's office says they're still interviewing people, but they don't have any good leads. Neighbors say vandalism is one thing, but burning flags is more than just destructive. It's offensive. The streets of Coshocton are lined with American flags right now. But Saturday, Andrea J noticed something wasn't quite right on her street. I'm thinking, what's going on here? So I looked down the street, and there weren't any other flags down there as well. Um, looked up that way, there weren't any other flags, and I thought, okay, something's not right. Three of the flags on her block were torched. You can even see where it was burned. All that's left is some scorched grass. Only ashes remain of her neighbor's flag. I was pretty upset about it. I, I don't think that it's something to be proud of. I just don't. You know, it's, it's just something that kids should not be doing. Deputies say it's too early to say who's to blame. They say there has been a spike in vandalism since school got out for the summer. The local Rotary Club has replaced all the torch flags. I am proud and I'm, I'm happy. I walked out on the porch and I saw that today and I was really proud that it was replaced very quickly. Neighbors say they just want their property to be left alone. I'm excited to come out and see this flag every day. It's something really nice for me every day to see that. It helps, it, it makes me feel like I'm part of a group. On top of the seven burn flags, police say another one was stolen. Anyone with information is asked to call the sheriff's office. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ben Garbert, Fox 28 News.